people were very excited. We have a very special guest joining our panel. You know him from the Big Bang Theory, the Sarah Silverman program, and the Mandalorian comedian Brian Posehn is here. Yeah. very first in studio gets since COVID. Yes. Wow. Absolutely. I hope you feel Thank safe. Thank you. I do. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Oh, no, not now. <laughs> yeah, we all feel Tori. like that with Tori, so yeah, you're no, right at home. Good <laughs> luck. Yeah, you're good. Um, Brian, you're here in Denver performing at Comedy Works this weekend. As part of your tour, what can your fans expect? It's all new material. It's all since COVID. Uh, COVID messed me up. I, I'm a touring comic. I, you know, I thought I was essential. It turned out I'm not that essential. <laughs> uh, so I didn't do stand-up for so long. At first, I would just do five shows every weekend for my family. Oh, God. Because I missed great. it. So Aww. I would have the dog sit up front, and I charge the two-drink minimum. <laughs> No heckler policy. I'd throw my son in the pool if he said anything. <laughs> so I'm glad to be back in front of a real audience. Okay, yeah, guys. It's, it's so crazy. I've been doing stand-up forever. And, uh, you know, first of all, our, our mutual friend Lisa Correo says hello. Oh, nice. Yeah, that, that, that's my friend. First of all, shout out to you and the Mandalorian as oh, well. Oh, thanks. So, <laughs> big deal. Now, uh, we have to discuss this. And it's going to be a little weird because Jeff is a big fan of Justin Bieber. But <laughs> you oh, no. made a music yeah. video called New Music Sucks, where you yes. came after all the greats, yeah. Katy Perry, Miley Cyrus, and the Beeb, so we got to check it out. Let's look. I'm not saying that I think they all should die. I'm just saying that. I'm just saying that. I'm just saying that it makes me want to cry, 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 cry. New music sucks. <laughs> So you have to tell us. Now, I know you're a metal guy. Now, yes, what is. is your beef with new music? Uh, I've never liked pop music at all. So it's it's all, I've always been that crusty. Even when I was a teenager, right. I didn't like the stuff that was out then. And uh, I wrote it, ironically, with a pop music artist. The <laughs> guitar player for Fall Out Boy wrote that song. <laughs> oh, and then boy. they even make fun of themselves in it. I've got the singer for Fall Out Boy even calling him his own band and throwing himself under the bus. So it was all done. You know, I don't mean anything and out fun, of it. Tongue, just tongue in cheek, yeah. Plus... Katy Perry doesn't care what a 55-year-old dude in Encino thinks of her. <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute, I'm wait a minute. She's audience. calling. <laughs> I'm not their audience, so it's, you know, it's okay. I love it. I really do. Okay, so you're here. You're on our panel, so we're going to get your take on a couple of stories. Cool. Scientists are close to creating the first ever birth control pit, uh, pill for men. Okay, boys? Mm -hmm. Yep. During lab trials, a male pill was 99% effective at preventing pregnancy in mice. The mice became sterile after taking the pill, but their virility returned to normal levels after four to six weeks. So now human trials could be around the corner. I feel like we've been talking about this for decades. I know. Would you, would you trust it? Like, would you take that pill every single day? Yeah. You would? <laughs> it's, I, I, it's not that hard. <laughs> You put it in the little case that old people have. Yeah, you know, Monday, you take your Wednesday. vitamins every day. <laughs> that that, that case is a serious medication. purchase. When you buy that case, you're at a different point in your life. Yeah, I that right. yeah. I do too. Sure. Yeah, I do Would too. you two take that pill every single day? Well, yes, yeah, sober 44-year-old Al, but like hard-drinking New York City comic, probably not. No. Oh, great. Yeah. I mean, I'm being honest. That's the issue is men have issues with the, you know, the consistency. At least I do. I think that's so funny that like the male patriarchy is out there and they rule the world apparently, but they're like a pill? I can't do that. <laughs> like that's so infuriating. They were like, can we trust them? We trust them with the codes. Sorry. I went on a weird <laughs> feminist. You're, you're right. Tori. I would take it. I'm with you. Every yeah. single day at the same time. If you I was take it at the same time. If I was out there in the scene. Oh boy, yeah. don't say it like that out there. Well, what do you mean? I'm been with someone for 12 years now. I would yeah. happily I'm a take little a pill. hesitant. <laughs> I love my husband. He does everything like really, really well, but I'm his reminder. Mm -hmm. So I would have to be like, yo, honey, birth control pill. Yeah. Like, and I don't want to be the reminder. No. That's on you, boo. If you're going to take on the responsibility for that birth control pill, you remind yourself. And also the wow. iPhone. We got shamed that we all said we would. <laughs> yeah. How dare you? I know. That's the point. I got to yeah. hear Jeff's take on this next one. Okay. Some people are saying they have, quote, tipping fatigue. Okay. Some customers say they feel put on the spot when a server puts a touch screen in front of them. Jeff, did you write this? With tip <laughs> options. Or feel cheap for selecting the no tip option. Some say they're just tired of being guilt-tripped. Guilt-tipped. 
tripped. <laughs> no, into, guilt tipped. That's it's like a pun on words. Okay. Yeah. Guilt yeah. tipped uh, into giving play. an extra one to five bucks for an ice cream or coffee. Okay. Have you, Brian, ever felt guilt tipped? Mm. No, I think if you work in that industry, I did that kind of stuff as a kid. You know, I worked in restaurants. So, no, it's never been a problem for me. I guess I'm weird. Like, I'll take the pill and I'll tip people. <laughs> You're a good like, human being. No, he's just an anomaly. Brian, how about this? How about this? I worked as well all over Los Angeles. You know, we you know, we work in the restaurant. Yeah, industry. exactly. So I've done that my whole life through college. But when I go pick up a pizza for my family, it's $100. Am I expected to give $20 to the person who hands me that pizza box when I go to a restaurant and I give them the same tip for waiting on me for an hour? Yeah, that one gets a little shady. I always go a little less. I don't do the full 20%, oh, but can't. I always feel, I guess I do get guilty. <laughs> See? Yeah, I never thought of it that way. I but, turned them yeah. around. I gotta, you... I gotta tip them something. See, he right. Right. feels guilty, you give a couple but Jeff bucks. does this move. Nah. Yeah. No, I do because I, I feel guilty. It's the passive oh, aggressive one. You have to tip. Yeah. So you don't do the nah. No, I, they do it, and in my head, I go, I hate you and everything that you stand for. <laughs> and then I sign it, and I'm like, I have a good one. But that's just in my head. <laughs> I'll tell you what got, got me. Keep it in your head. Yeah. <laughs> Brian, I, had, I need to know if it was I tripping this weekend. My, my girl and I, we did our uh, three-year anniversary this weekend, so we went to a nice restaurant, went to Fondue for the first time. I never oh. did that. But I'm like, who are okay, you? <laughs> I, I've never been there. They plug it in. We have to wait till it gets hot. I have this giant oven. Now I'm cooking raw meat. <laughs> I'm a hate it. Cheese. It's hot. It's like, I feel like I was working, and then I had to tip. Excuse I'm cooking me? it. I had to put the flavor <laughs> on it. They, Shouldn't everybody be paying me? No, they brought you. They, they, they brought they, me a gigantic they, oven on my table. Yeah. They didn't, it wasn't all cut up, all perfect and cute? Yeah, yeah, of course yeah, it was. You can get that at Trader Joe's. You can get cut. No, so then go to Trader this. Joe's and stay at home. These people are making it nice. But I paid them. Well, okay. we're okay. paying you and good Brian, job. Can you be the judge and jury on this? You should have gotten tipped, too. Thank you. That's no. ridiculous. You see Domino's is, uh, Domino's is doing that. They're giving the person the tip. What do you If mean? they come and pick it up because they don't have the drivers. Yeah. Oh, you I've get a $3 that. tip yourself. I know. Yeah. Wow. Well, that's the way it should see, be. See, I'm ahead of it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm ahead a, of new, <laughs> a new study says more than one in five people eat in the bathroom. <laughs> a survey of 2,000 people in the U.K. found over a fifth like to snack while taking a bath. But get this, nearly 20% confessed to eating while on the John. You guys. Do you do this, Brian? Be no, honest. I'm already huge. I don't want to do either one of those. <laughs> <laughs> if I do that, it'll be like 600 pounds. Have you ever brought a snack in with you? No. Okay, Tori. Never. That is absolutely disgusting. I don't even want to see drinks. I don't want to see clothes containers. That is a sacred space. I, I would champagne in the tub. Oh, good question. I can, can I be honest with you? In the tub, I feel like I'm sitting in my own filth. I, I do. Thank, okay, Tori, thank you. Okay. Okay. I do. Yes. I feel the I same do. way. I don't think, that's why I don't, also, I don't like water parks. I don't want to take a public bath. <laughs> yeah. All right? Yeah. I don't like, I don't know yeah. you guys. I'm with you. Well, have you ever noticed, have you ever seen anybody get out of the, the, the water slide to go to the bathroom? I haven't. Because everybody, I cannot. <laughs> Everyone pees I don't in like the that. pool. I don't and like that. And it's okay because there's chlorine. Everything. We've all done it. We're I don't supposed like water. To, oh, please. I don't like standing water. Have you ever, have you ever peed in the pool? Yes, you have. Of course. <laughs> I'm an American, oh aren't I? <laughs> American. Okay, uh, Brian, before we go, you also have some comic books Ooh, coming out. So what awesome. can you tell us about your comic books? That's so cool, by the way. Oh, thanks. Uh, I have a thing coming out What's out this week through Heavy Metal Magazine, which uh, came back. It was around when I was a kid, and uh, That's really it's, cool. it's just like it was when I was a kid. It's got like six different comics in it every month, and uh, I've got, I did it with Joe Troman, the guy from Fall Out Boy. He's nice. my, my little pal. <laughs> you guys are super close. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's tiny next to me. But, uh, we wrote this thing called the axe and it's just about a uh, four kids that or three kids that find this uh, guitar that is uh, evil it's like evil dead but mixed with a you know guitar and it's got all this heavy metal stuff in it it fits in the book and then the other one is called uh it's coming out on 420. nice it's called, uh, what is that the secret Stop, history Jen. of the war against weed <laughs> oh, oh. Yes. Yes. Is it a satire? Is it real? Totally. No, okay. total satire. It's like uh, the government sends like a Schwarzenegger guy into Humboldt County in the 80s <laughs> <laughs> to fight all these hippies. And then
They turn him on to marijuana, and then he fights other guys instead. <laughs> that's now, I have to add, crazy. You that's have a great idea. You also yeah. have another comic book about Santa and the zombie apocalypse. Yes. Wait, what? Yes. All my ideas are a little weird, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> I did one. It was called The Last Christmas. It's still in development. It's at Sony Movies or Sony Animation. Uh, they might do an R-rated version of it eventually. Dude. But it's uh, Santa fighting the apocalypse and fighting zombies and... That is. We do reindeer that. come into play, or is it just? Oh, the, absolutely. And Mrs. Claus. Yes. Does okay. Rudolph make an appearance? You don't want to know what happens to Mrs. Oh, Claus. <laughs> <laughs> I like no. the cliffhanger. I like that. Is Rudolph involved? Yeah, yeah. There might Not be some copyright issues. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my! <laughs> wow. I gotta see this. That okay, everybody, amazing. you can catch Brian this weekend in Denver at Comedy Works. Find dates for his comedy tour on his website. Thank you so much for joining us. Yes, we thank you. Lovely. See this man. He's hilarious.